Okay, if you've ever bought an arcade game and you have a 4 gigabyte hard drive, you know that you're running out of space. And I know you can go buy those flash drives, but if you don't want to do that, you can burn them onto a disk. And this is something that I've always wanted to do, and eventually after looking online for quite a while, I was able to figure out how to do it. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. And you're going to need three programs, IMG Burn, Do ISO, and Horizon. And you're also going to need to make this folder, which is a little bit tricky to make, but if you pay close attention, you should be able to do that. So we're just going to name the folder Data, D-A-T-A, -A, the capital D. And then we're going to make another folder inside of that called Contents. And inside of that, we're going to make another folder with 16 zeros. And then inside of that, we'll just leave that for now. And now we'll open up Horizon, which hopefully you've already installed. Now inside of Horizon, once we open it, on the right side, there's a Device Explorer. If you hit the arrow, it'll pull out the Device Explorer. Now you'll need to have your game on some sort of USB or something like that in order to copy the game onto your computer. So you'll need at least one USB in order to get the game onto your computer. So once I plug in my USB drives, I have two of them because I'll be burning more than one game. Which you can have all your games on one USB drive, though that too is fine. So I open up my USB drive, I select games, and find the game that I plan on burning. Well, I'll end up burning more than one, but the first one is Counter-Strike. So now that I've found out what game I'm going to burn, I go up to the top, I select Title ID Finder, type in Counter-Strike, and click on the one that is the one that I'm going to be burning, which is Counter-Strike Go. And then I click on copy the title ID. So now that I have the title ID, I put that title ID inside of the 16 0 folder. Now since these are arcade games, we'll make another folder which will have three zeros, a D, and four zeros, I believe. But we'll make that folder. And then inside of there, we'll end up saving the file. So what we're saving is the Counter-Strike thing, we'll select it to extract it, and we'll extract it to that three zeros D and four zero folder. I believe it's in that order. And here, let me look if it's three or if it's four in the beginning. It's three zeros a D and four zeros. So now we select to extract the game, which in my case is Counter-Strike, we extract it, we choose where to extract it, which is that folder I was just talking about, with the D in the title. And then when eventually the green bar fills up, it'll give us this message that says we can, that it's copied into there. So now, just to make sure that I have, you know, that I'm not too full on my folder where it won't be able to fit on my DVD, I right click on the data folder select properties and in there I can tell how much space I'm using so far and then if you put in your DVD you can tell how much open room your DVD has or you can just look on the outside of your DVD it should say on there too. So now we'll open up do ISO and in do ISO we'll select the data folder and basically just make your settings look like mine which would be selecting the data folder you find that and then you click start and then it'll do all this stuff these words will come up on the screen the bar at the bottom once it's filled and it says it's complete which in my case is the bar only half filled and then said it was complete then your ISO is created and then we need to burn that ISO so we'll use IMG burn to burn the ISO so we'll select the top left hand corner thing which is burn image to disk and then we'll go into, I believe it's the tools, and then the settings. And then you need to make your settings look like mine. If you can't quite see all these settings, there is a link to a tutorial I have in the description. And you'll be able to find a much bigger, better image maybe on that tutorial. And then make sure you select the data folder, as, or the data ISO as your file. And then set your write speed to 2.4. And then you should be able to click the write button and write it. And it'll go do its thing. And then you'll get this pop-up that says it 
that it can't reclose your drive depending on your computer which at this point you could just take out the disk and it'll be okay or you could put it back in and click OK and it'll verify it which I didn't really do that because it's not really that important but now at this point you're done you can put the game in your Xbox it'll say that it's a mixed media disk and then if you go to my games you should be able to find it in my games and this also will work for your games on demand and your original Xbox games but it won't work for your DLC as far as I understand and I'll have a proof video coming up after this